one's for all the husbands out there. Uh, if you and your wife have been having trouble conceiving, and whether you've had a community uh, lab uh, semen analysis done, and your doctor said everything looks okay, or you haven't had any done at all, I encourage you to go to uh, IVF clinic or a local reproductive uh, specialty clinic and get a more advanced semen analysis done. Now they test for, for different things and you can you can ask them about those and they may be worthwhile but the focus of this video is uh, getting more uh, detailed sperm motility test done. Motility is the uh, quality of which your sperm swim. So uh, <clears throat> normal semen tests just say how many percent are moving basically but it more advanced will tell you how many are moving forward rapidly how many are slowly moving and how many are just kind of wriggling around and uh, as far as uh, fertility uh, optimizing fertility is is concerned we want to to have a higher percentage of forward rapid progressive uh, sperm those are the ones that that are more likely to get to the egg and fertilize it, penetrate the shell, and uh, hopefully become your your next baby. Um, so, if your sperm tests do come back with a, a lower uh, sperm motility, uh, I encourage you to take two supplements. Okay, one is CoQ10, the other is L-carnitine. CoQ10, uh, I encourage good quality, taken with food and uh, in an oil base, absolutely. Um, it's to be taken in a dosage of two to three hundred milligrams per day uh, for six months, key, uh, as well as L-carnitine. It should be taken with a low level of zinc that's probably in your uh, multivitamin, but uh, for one week take it 500 milligrams, second week take it 1,000 milligrams, and the third week uh, take at 1,500 milligrams and take that for the rest of the time up to the six month point. Um, so key, both these taken for six months. Research has shown that they will help with sperm motility. Anyway, I hope this helps and uh, good luck starting your families.